Hi everyone, so today me and dad are going to have a little go at forging. So this is something that I've wanted to do for a little while now um, and dad has a bit of experience with doing it so I thought he'd be the best person to help me. I'm no expert. No, but you have a little bit more of a clue than I do, so we're halfway there. Yeah, I try to forge when I can, I do enjoy it. Yeah, so the one piece or the one tool that I'm missing from my toolbox is actually a panel beating hammer. So we were thinking that potentially we could have a little go at forging and make a hammer all in one go, and then that means I won't have to nick yours anymore. Yeah, I don't like using my hammers. I know, you're weirdly territorial over your tools. I am. So we thought, because it's quite a cold day today as well, it's been snowing and it's icy, and we want to warm up, so we thought maybe we could light the forge, and that'll keep us nice and toasty. It will, so get the forge lit. Which one of the many shall I take? We'll go with that one. So I've had a look through uh, some of Dad's panel bean hammers and I've chosen this one to replicate because it looks like a fairly simple shape and I don't need to make it too complicated. So I think we'll go with this one. thing about forging in the middle of winter. Yeah, if this was summer it'd be awful, wouldn't it? The only other problem I've got is that because I've got gel in my eyebrows, whenever I go near the heat it melts my eyebrows and then they like dry and they go crispy. So I have to move my eyebrows up and down. Oh. And they're crunchy. I don't have that problem. Do you not? No. Weird that. I've got I've got flame retardant gel in mine. Have you? Yeah. That's a new one. Cool, yeah. So we'll try that one again then, yeah? Right, so we've now got the hole in, haven't we? Yeah. So we now need to just form this bit around the eyelet and probably just separate these two bits under here and then start drawing drawing these two out. So how are we going to do that? Uh, we're going to need a tool that has got a half moon in it with a hole. So measure right. that. Yeah. 16 mil roughly. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll keep squeezing that all the way around until we form this, leaving the bulk of the material and push that to the end. When you say something, you, when you say a tool that needs to be a half moon with a 16 mil hole in it. Half moon, yeah, with a half moon in it. And um, so that we can form this bit here. Right, okay. Do you mean something like this by any chance? Exactly like that. Ah, oh, well that's handy, isn't it? Yeah. Well done, you just made that, did you? Yeah, as you were telling me about, obviously I just thought of it. Quickly, quickly knocked it up. Yeah. I'll do that, we'll use that. Perfect. Hand, I think. 
that looks better, doesn't it? It does look better, yeah. That looks loads better. Right, so just to show you how much my dad loves making tools and equipment and machinery and all sorts. So we are using his forge that he made to make our hammer. We're also using the press that he's made to make the hammer. As well as, got loads of other stuff in here that he's made. This is one of them, isn't it? That's the Eagles wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I made that quite a long time ago, no? About 2017, 18, I would think. Yeah, I'd but guessed yeah, at that. I just bought the uh, top wheel. Bought the anvil because it was just cheap. Is that what they're called, anvil? Yeah, just the anvil. I've you know, just always thought they were called like the bot lower dies or well, something. Well, that's that as well, but I'd call them the anvil. They are called the anvil. But that's basically you get different crowns, and it was just that was cheaper to buy all them rather than actually make them. So I just made the frame. And then you got the bead, bead roller. Yeah. Yeah, that allows you to put swages and folds and everything in. Is that what you did on that then? Is that how you put all the marks in that? The thirty-two back end. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just cut it all out of the panel and then I put all the swage lines and edges all in there. And then I uh, put that in the English wheel and formed all so the... So that bit is a separate, that very top bit is separate, so that's welded, no, but then... from there. Oh, okay. So you put that in and then did you have to shape it after? Do you shape it yeah, after? Yeah, I had to wheel it afterwards. But for me to get enough shrinkage in that to allow to get that double contour... I would have needed one of the, uh, like a shrink and power hammer. Yeah. Because I had a lot of material to shrink. So by cutting that and then folding that and then shrinking the edge, you can then create it a different way. Oh, wicked. I did wonder how you did that, to be fair. Yeah. And then that'll put all the swage lines in. They're fairly straightforward to do. Yeah. And then on the bead roll, you've also got the, the panels. Uh, the oh, look. you did that on the Chevy, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. The video is a video on the on our YouTube. Yeah. I'll be doing that. No, that is clever. I like that. So, yeah. I think I do remember you do, you doing all that. Yeah, I think you helped me. You helped me do it. Did I? I've slept yeah. since then. Yeah, <laughs> I've I'm forgotten. Sure you did. But it's just something about making your own tools. I enjoy it. Yeah, and as um, it probably makes you feel quite like nice being able to use it and for it actually be have a purpose. Well, and it also saves you a shit ton of money. Yeah. Because to buy an English wheel, is thousands. Yeah. But and, and just building a um, a good structure frame to go with the anvils is plenty good enough for making panels. Yeah. Oh, wicked. Right, so we're now at the point where we've just finished forging the hammer. Um, a little bit more material than we perhaps needed. What do you That's reckon? a good thing. Yeah. Always it's better to have material you can remove rather than material that if you haven't got enough of it, that's the thing. Yeah, you can't put metal back, can you? You can take no. it away quite easily. You can, you can weld it, but you don't really want to. You, you try to forge it out of one piece, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. So that's where we're at now. Um, it's taken probably a little bit more time than I anticipated, but that is just... Oh, forging is all about moving metal. So you've got yeah. to heat it up red hot, 
and move it. Yeah. And that isn't easy to do. No. So this is the one that we were basing it on. Um, it's actually mm. uh, <laughs> probably a bit more like that now. Yeah, we'll go with that one. We'll go with that one. That's looking a bit more like... We were definitely aiming to make it look like yeah, this one, yeah, weren't we? Definitely yeah, definitely like that one. Yeah, this was the, uh, the objective. Is that the right word, the objective? Yeah. This is what we were aiming for. Forging is not easy. No. And to actually accomplish and have a, uh, a hammer head that resembles a hammer from the first go is not bad. Yeah, that is it. I mean, if I put this up and ask someone who had no idea about forging or anything what this was, I'd, I'd like to think that they say it kind of looks like a hammer. Yeah. Um, so the next stage is we've got to grind, grind it. it up. Yeah, so grind it up. We've got to find a handle. Well, grind it, shape it. Yeah. Get everything finished off. Then you, we've got to harden the tip and harden the head mm. and then that'll be um, put the handle on it. So just from the look of this I can see that we've probably got quite a bit of grinding to do. Yeah there's a bit but not you know, not silly amount. No not too bad. Because no, you've got the main, forging is all about getting the main um, shape. Yeah. So as long as you've got the main shape you can work with it. Yeah. So you, you'll use the belt sander next. You won't have time in this video a day so That'll that. be that'll be part two for this one then. Yeah, do that in the next video. So the next video will be grind, shaping, hardening, handle fitting. Perfect. So I hope you enjoyed that. A little bit different from what we usually do, but it's just something that I wanted to try and, and you to have another little dabble at, isn't and it? And I enjoy forging. You do enjoy forging. So we hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.